Now, what you can expect, though, is to see some traffic cones when you're dropping your kids off at school. But in one Vacaville neighborhood, that cone is actually walking around <laughs> and guiding traffic. Yeah, this is adorable. Dina Kupfer <laughs> is joining us with more. This is probably my favorite story of the week, you guys. So OK, cute. so we're going out to Markham Elementary this morning in Vacaville. And we just need no introduction. <laughs> just look at this. This is Gina Yamas Cruz who joins us, the assistant principal. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, first of all, why are you dressed like a cone? <laughs> Why am I dressed like a cone? So I was telling them I belong to an administrator's page on Facebook. And as we all know, um, we've been hearing how uh, traffic has been affected during COVID for drop off and pick up. So I saw this picture of administrators and deans and teachers dressed in cones and coming out to the parking space. So I texted and I emailed and I tried to figure out where they got them so I was finally told you get them at Target you can order online so do. I did just that <laughs> Target is everything <laughs> because I'm sure as we all know it is it is a nightmare um, tra traffic here at the school for drop off and pick up especially right now for safety um, parents are not allowed on campus right um, like normally to drop off students so yeah so I just decided I'm gonna do this I'm, I'm crazy AP and make it fun for the students <laughs> well we love this and we think you are a good day kind of crazy which is the best kind in our opinion uh, we do have some video of you actually inside of one of the classrooms talking to the students what has been their reaction and I know I I understand and you've no also helped me. a little bit of the of the you know falls yeah, and things ahead. that happen during the traffic period. <laughs> Yes, so um, the experience for the students, they're excited because I'm an actual human cone. And so especially for the kinder and first grade, we've been going over rules, being safe, being respectful and being responsible. So the first day that I wore my cone, it was actually raining. Actually, it was wet from raining the weekend. And so I just went around and went over safety rules about being safe, being respectful, and being responsible. He just went and through the cones Staying out. out of the puddles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> yes. And actually, sometimes people actually, yesterday I had two people just ignore the human cone. So oh, no. It, it's, 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 for the most part, everybody is very responsive, and they obey, and they think it's funny. I think I've had... I don't know how many videos they've taken in pictures, so I, I make them smile also in the morning. You know, families and kids are super duper excited to see me. And today's Wacky Wednesday, so that's why I'm wearing kind of rainbowy stuff <laughs> underneath. Um, so they even thought that was that was funnier. Well, so. we would love to have a reenactment yes. real quickly. I know that you're. It's currently you know schools in session, but can can you give us a little rundown what you would normally do? Do you start on the sidewalk and walk across, or what? So right here, if you notice in the front of the school, this is where our normal drop off is. OK, so I put my my costume on and I come out here and for the most part, I'll start by opening the doors for some of the students. But then when it starts getting congested, then I come out here and I station myself here just so that we don't have two or three because we were ending up having two or three lanes. Ah, we would okay. have the drop off zone and then one, you know, one lane here because parents are running a little late and they want to drop their students off and then a next lane. So Got it. this me standing here um, helps avoid that congestion. Well, and there are some families that drop off their students up front. And as you know, we, we we're trying to reteach. Um, we drop them off here so that, you know, we don't have these congestions. And actually today there was a little uh, bumper fender back over in front. Um, oh, boy. Well, OK, there's another car there. OK, slow down for the code zone. Yes. Slow down for the code zone. Yes. <laughs> and yes, I have to do Woo. slow down because, yes, they, they fly through here. So. OK, well, we have to go. Unfortunately, we are out of time. <laughs> Gina Yamas Cruz, the assistant principal, Edward Markham Elementary School in Vacaville. We are so grateful for administrators <laughs> like you who are in our schools, keeping smiles on the faces of our kiddos and helping to keep everyone safe at the same time. Happy early Halloween. Thank you so much. Our director really Thank wants you. to see what happens. Thank you for having I mean, if she squats down and pulls her arms in, oh, like if she just like, oh, oh, you want to oh. see? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, you know what? The kinder <laughs> students actually made me do this yesterday. Oh. oh, I think my microphone, but that's all right. Yes, I. They wanted oh to gosh. see the actual cone, and I did do this. There I had it to is. Kneel, so. It was so worth it. Uh, so you worth it. are just yes. a gem. Well, thank you so much. You got a cone head, don't you? And we sure, love it. You're welcome. Oh, <laughs> All right. Courtney, yeah. back over to you. I love fantastic. that. Fantastic. <laughs>